Do you know that when Jesus was still in spirit, God didn't tell anybody to call him Lord. We saw the Father as the Lord. But the moment the Son accepted to be a man and to die for mankind and help the human race till eternity, from that time, God said, from that time, he gave him a name that everybody should confess that he is Lord. He is Lord. That is worship. But Jesus never got that until he became a man and helped men. Never undermine this, this weird mindset that has made the charismatic generation very crazy and has lost too many good things God gave. You honor Jesus because he became a man to help mankind. That is why today he's an eternal Lord. Let me tell you something. When a human being decides to punish you, God will not do much. So thank a human being if he decides to help you. Let me tell you. When Herod wanted to kill Jesus, God had to hide Jesus and tell Jesus, that, Hi dear, I'm doing one or two stuff. I'll come back with the word. But if I don't come back, hide. If you show up in Jerusalem, he could kill you. And because of Herod, Joseph had to carry Mary and Jesus and take them, run, run away from Israel and go to Egypt until a word was sent. And when the word was sent, we heard the, the child was 12 years. So God didn't take one week to eliminate who, was, who wanted to kill Jesus. It took him years. Do you know the number of years David had to run away from Israel? Because of Saul. Saul comf comfortably finished his reign close to 40 years so don't think that Saul wants to kill David so God will just kill Saul no, if a man decides to torment you if you don't take care he will torment you for long so it takes so much for a human being to say I love you it takes so much don't, don't say that if a human being decides to torment you you have to run when Jezebel wanted to torment Elijah Elijah had to run Elijah has to run. I'm telling you. And when Elijah didn't confront Jezebel, when Jezebel said that, I will cut off your head. When Elijah didn't confront Jezebel, God told him, come back again. Come back again in the spirit. Uh, uh, John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah. And another woman came in the spirit of Jezebel, Herodias. And it was Herodias that came to cut his head. When a human being decides to torment you, God may not do much. So if a human being decides to love you, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Do you know what Herod did to uh, the, the people of um, um, the church, the church leaders? He killed James. He was still alive. He was still alive. And caught Peter. Somebody would have told say, we there were there you we the 24 hours ground on Oboa. Or Betanasi. I told them better not see a chepa. Told them to more than four to not see chep. And to when you be or do wa, who then ya mi a siya? Don't know so ase. Don't know so ase. I'm telling you, don't know so ase. And yes, I assemble to, assemble to learn to honor men along with God. Don't say eh. Do you, there are people. We are making mistakes. This charismatic. And craziness is, is destroying many young people. They they talk in the face of helpers as though they are nothing. They talk in the face of helpers as though they are nothing. A helper can still obey God to help another person other than you. So if you if you just snub a helper, don't think God will hit him. He, if he goes to fulfill Matthew 25 in another person's life, he has fulfilled scripture. He said that if you feed the hungry, it's not only you that you are hungry. Yes, 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 yes. So he can decide not to give you food and go and give to another hungry person. He has fulfilled scripture. And to be decided to help you out. Thank you. Always use appreciation to register for tomorrow's help. Never think one time help is enough. You secure tomorrow's help by a strong, uncompromising measure of appreciation. 
you must be thankful to the God that helped you and to the human that he used to help. You must understand. It takes a foolish person to say that it has been all God from beginning. No. Even God knows that he used men to help you. So in prayer, give God's portion. When you rise from prayer, be wise enough to give men their portion. Be wise enough. I need to teach you this so that you don't sit back and begin to think that thanksgiving is to God only. Even God will be disappointed in you. Honor God and honor the one he used. Everybody has somebody that God sent to you. If you don't honor the person, you have dishonored the God that sent him to you. So one time Jesus told them, he said that you have chosen the traditions of men over the commandment of God. For you give that which you must give to your father and mother as coban to God. As coban to God. That means that there are certain offerings you give to God, God rejects. Because he should have gone to your father and mother. So if you do not give what must be given to men to him the bible said jesus said you have chosen the tradition of men over the commandment of god that means the commandment of god is that honor father and mother don't mess with it don't mess with it am, am i talking somebody here yes. the power of appreciation is very important you should always appreciate what was done for you to a point that you know you have registered tomorrow in the person's heart Learn not to give thanks once. Learn. Learn not to say thank you once. Learn. The least must be twice or three times. For something little that was done for you. If you could have helped yourself, you'd have, you could have done it. Anything that is done to you and for you that you couldn't do it for yourself, appreciate the person. It is a dying moment for the person. That means the person chose you over him. The person chose you over her. Appreciation is powerful. Thank God and thank those he used for your life. And I tell you, God will be comfortable to send another to you. God will be comfortable to send another to you. The way you treat the one he sent yesterday, he will be comfortable to send another tomorrow. But if you don't treat the one he sent, Why can you imagine God told Adam that I will bring you a helper a help I'm sending you help and when the help came the help was a woman so if men don't have a part to play in the helping system of God how would God say I'm bringing you help and it was a person the Lord brought that means Adam must learn to say thank you to Eve if he wants to appreciate help from God. Are you getting the picture here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must uh, listen. Adam cannot go to God and say, Oh God, thank you. I don't care about any human being around me. Thank you. God will say, What thank is that? You are thanking me for your help. But your help is a man who can hear. Your help is Eve who she can hear, she can feel. So if you finish thanking me, go and thank it. You must learn to say thank you to your husband. Learn to say thank you to your wife. And to be decided to help you, thank you. Our feelings, thank you. Thank you. Send, send your husband a, a message and say thank you. Send your wife a message and say thank you. Send your boss a message and say thank you. Send your employee a message and say thank you. Uh, among your workers, but could be here, Juma Broso. 
I'm fine with no way boss sending the message. Say thank you. Thank you. I've seen all that you are doing and I appreciate it. God bless you. Do that. 